Hi, church family. Pastor Bill with your Friday briefing. I want to start off by first thanking the ladies of the church for a wonderful time Sunday night where they gave up their normal quarterly ladies night of live, laugh, love, and pray. Uh, Marie Palmer dedicated that evening to a family picnic in our brand new fellowship hall. This is the first event we've had there and the attendance was great and the food was wonderful. And I understand the singing was a lot of fun. It was classic hymns that were sung. There was a raffle, a lot of you won raffle uh, prizes that have the name of the church on them. And I hope you will enjoy those and wear those or carry them proudly in the community to let them know that you're part of First Baptist Church. So tonight we're going to have our Celebrate Recovery again at 5.30 for the food and 6.30 for the large group. And I, I once again encourage you, if you've not come, come and see. Uh, it's a time of fellowship. Uh, it's a time of healing for those who have hurts, habits, or hangups. Uh, and it's very similar to the 12-step program used in AA, but the difference is that our higher power is not a guess. Our higher power is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. And that's the essence of our Celebrate Recovery. So if you haven't experienced it, come and try it out. Come and see. Can't hurt you to give up a Friday night because we say that it's the best place to be on a Friday night is First Baptist Church for Celebrate Recovery. Saturday morning, I'm sure that many of you got this email from the church this week talking about meeting at the library. Uh, this is a movement that has been put on by Kurt Cameron. Many of you know who that the actor is. He's a very strong Christian. He's part of Brave Books. And they've been going across the country to libraries, reading stories to the children, the kids, uh, talking to them about faith, love, and hope. And on August the 5th, that's tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., one of our local churches has reserved the, the library, a, a large room in the library, to honor at 10 a.m. this reading of some of the books that Kirk Cameron has provided or recommended. So we're going to ask that all the family members uh, that who can attend that at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning to support this wonderful event called Join the Movement. It says, see you at the library. That's what the event is. And if you haven't heard anything about it, you can go online and find out quite a bit about it. But it'll be again, 10 a.m. tomorrow morning at our local library. Come and pray, come and be there to support the teachers, the people that'll be reading the stories. Might be you, you might be asked to read a story. I'm not for sure what the format is, but come and come and see. I think it'll be very worthwhile. And we wanna show our Christian support for our local library as well. See you there, 10 o'clock Saturday morning. Then on Sunday morning, we're going to bring you another message for our, um, our series that we're doing right now on how God meets your deepest needs. And we're going to be talking about what it means to live a joyful life. The, the Bible is full of ways that we can focus on Scripture and learn to live outside of this world and all the challenges and stress and pain that we endure and learn how to live a joy-filled life if we'll spend time with our Lord in His Word. We'll be looking at uh, some scripture throughout the Bible, but I'm reminded of one particularly. Uh, we look at the books that uh, the Apostle uh, Paul wrote and He's got 16 times he talks about joyful living, some kind of joy. And here's a man that wrote those books, not on his vacation, not in a nice comfortable somewhere, but he wrote these in jail. And we'll be talking about that and how that came about. We're going to split the message again. Brother Justin and I will do joyful and I get the privilege of doing joy and he'll do the full. We'll bring you what the Bible says about both of those of how to live a true joyful life. So I look forward to seeing you 
Sunday morning, nine o'clock, and we'll have a great time of family fellowship and love with each other. So be sure and be there and bring a neighbor, bring a friend, bring somebody that needs to know what it means to live a joyful life. God bless you.